Hi there, my name is Benjamin Gorman. Uh, I'm going to be reading a little bit from Corporate High School, uh, which is a YA novel about a world where uh, one corporation has bought up all the others and uh, taken over all the schools, and it's a world we shouldn't create. So uh, the, you'll have to use your imaginations a little bit because the protagonist is a 17-year-old black girl. She's a little different from me in a few ways, so imagine this is coming from her voice, uh, but I like Harriet a lot and I think you will too. Tomorrow is my first day at a new school, so of course I'm nervous. I'm a wreck. It affects everything I do. Like, I want to eat, but when I think about grabbing one of the cookies we bought on the train, then I think about not fitting into my jeans for the first day, and I walk around the kitchen in a little circle three times like a nervous dog. Then I give up on the cookies, come back to my suitcase, and try to pick out my clothes again. And that's a whole other nightmare. But I've taken a break from that task for too long now, so I'm diving in. Okay, I think I've got my outfit picked out. I think it's a lot harder for girls than for guys. It's 2114, so you'd think we'd be past that kind of sexism, but it's still there. When guys go clothes shopping, Cork Mart basically gives them three choices of looks. They can get sports clothes, hunting clothes, and rock and roll clothes. The sports clothes are sweatpants or athletic shorts and t-shirts with the logos of sports teams on them. The hunting clothes are camo jeans and camo shorts or t-shirts with pictures of animals on them. The rock and roll clothes are black or blue jeans and t-shirts with the logos of bands on them. Those are the options. Guys can be jocks or hunters or musicians. If they want to be interesting, they can mix and match. Their outfits can say, I like this band, but my camo pants tell you I'm a really aggressive fan. Or, these sweatpants tell you I like sports, but the animals on my shirt tell you I mostly play hunting video games. Or, I'm wearing this team's shirt because I like to watch football on TV, but these baggy jeans tell you I'm a cool, casual fan. There are maybe nine other combinations, but that's basically it. Girls' clothes are so much more difficult because even though the corporation wants to put us into three groups, they all get complicated by the sizes we can buy. The young women's department has clothes for girls who want to look sexy fashionable, sexy athletic, and not sexy religious. But if you mix and match those, there are millions of messages you can send. Plus, it's totally okay for a girl to buy stuff in the young men's department, but if a guy does that, even in 2114, people are not cool with that. I don't think it's homophobia so much as a kind of horrified reaction that a guy doesn't want to fit in. But if a girl goes into the young men's department, it's like she's just looking for a new way to fit in. And people are okay with that, which is unfair. It also means girls have even more choices to make when they're trying to decide what kind of messages to send. Like, if I got boys' jeans that were really loose, that could mean I'm really casual about things, or it could mean I'm trying to rebel against gender stereotypes, or maybe that I like video games and don't play sports. If I paired them with a tight athletic top over a sports bra, it could mean I'm athletic but also really conservative and I'm hiding some tight athletic shorts underneath. Or it could mean that I'm athletic, and a, but I'm interested in guys who aren't. Or a dozen other things. Or I could get really tight white jeans in the sexy fashionable part, fashionable part of the young women's section, and then pair them with a loose rock and roll t-shirt from the young men's section, and that could mean I'm on the cutting edge of fashion and I'm artistic, or that I'm a band groupie turbo slut, or if it's a Christian band, that I'm one of those sexy for Jesus girls, and the white is a sign of purity and the tight is a sign of sexy. Of course, white jeans would also send the message that I'm the kind of girl who never spills anything and doesn't ever feel nervous about getting her period, and that is definitely not me because I'm anxious about everything all the time, which is why I don't own any white jeans. <laughs> so here's what I picked. For a top, I'm going to wear a t-shirt from a band in Illinois. The band is called Go Go Dr. Claw, a reference to a cartoon show from last century that I've never seen before, but the shirt is black and tight but not too tight. Uh, with a little cut in the, at the neckline that's long but not too long, so it hints at the cleavage I don't really have, but doesn't actually show that I don't have any. Besides the cut, I like the shirt because it's rock and roll, but they don't have it at Cork Mart, which pretty much sums up my taste in music. For pants, I'm wearing these black and gray camo cargos that are too big for me. I'm skinny, so they ride low on my hips, showing off my best feature, my waistline, and hiding the fact that I don't have much in the way of hips or ass. Plus, because they're so loose, it might look like I'm the kind of person who doesn't really care what she wears and just grabs something crumpled up next to the bed she rolled out of in the morning. I would like to pretend to be her, rather than the person who spent more than an hour trying to figure out what to wear tomorrow. Come to think of it, I'm going to go throw them in a pile next to my bed right now so they have the right wrinkles and not the ones from the suitcase. Probably no one would notice that, but I would spend all day imagining that they were all noticing. Done. Balled up and crumpled on the far side of one of the hotel room's beds. I have to share a room with my dad until he gets us an apartment, and that could take a few days. He wouldn't like me tossing my clothes on the floor. He'd probably accept it if I explained why, or he'd grumble about how crazy teenage girls are and let me leave them there, but it's not worth trying to explain it. It's better if he just doesn't notice them.
The more important part of the outfit is the part no one will see. It's the necklace that Selena gave me. She's my best friend in Illinois. They have a machine at Cork Mart that will print military-style dog tags with whatever you want on them. She got me one that says, Love you, Edwin, Edwinita Negrita, Selena. That's what she, she has called me since we became friends in first grade, because I have dark skin and she speaks Spanish. Selena is fourth generation American, or as she likes to say, my people came here as illegal immigrants back when Americans were treating illegals like poop, back before Americans were illegal immigrants in Canada. That's how she talks. I miss her. It's only been a couple of days, but I wish she were here so bad. I wish she could go to the new school with me tomorrow. She'd protect me. She's shorter than I am now, but she's so ballsy that if anybody looked at me sideways, she'd get right up in their face and use every word on the corporate school's forbidden word list in two languages. And it's a long list of words. Instead, if anybody looked at me sideways, I'll just touch the necklace and know she's got my back. Maybe that will give me a little bit of courage. Right now, I need it. <laughs>